Hello y'all, it's Willie Bill. Um, today I have for you a uh, review of an old telephone. Uh, this telephone in particular came from my parents' house. Uh, and I remember as a child, this phone used to hang on the wall and it hung up way above my head. And uh, I used to walk by and I remember like getting caught in the cord and stuff like that. And uh, definitely just brings back some memories. Now, there's a lot of children these days that never seen a phone like this. Uh, it's a funny thing that this phone evolved into a phone like that. Now this and this don't work quite the same. Uh, but you can do a whole ton of stuff with one of these that you could never do with this. So, back in the day when you used to want to make a phone call, you actually had to go to the phone. You didn't have a phone in your pocket. This thing here was mounted to the wall with those holes. You would take screws, like uh, the gray screws that uh, Prime Guard or whatever that I used to, that I did a review on, then you would screw a phone like this to the wall. In order for it to pick up, you didn't like stare at it like an iPhone X or whatever, where it recognized your face like a creepy, creepy big brother watching you all the time thing. Uh, you had to walk over and pick it up like a gas pump. You picked it up like that, and there's a switch in here that would then flip something and it would go beep and then you know you could start making your phone call. There's something about this, something about this being tactile, something about this just feeling like you're doing something as opposed to like you stare at this thing or it kind of reads your thumb and all of a sudden there's a voice there. Uh, now I'm not reviewing this so that you go out and buy one of these. I'm not even sure if you can make this work anymore. Uh, it's something I had around and I thought it would be cool to bring it on a show and uh, do a little review of how this works compared to what we have now. Give us a little history lesson too, you know? So this phone would hang on a wall, had a wire going to it, connected to other wires that went somewhere where the calls would all get sorted out. We do that through the air now. We send a wave to some thing that receives waves and then that thing, I think, sends another wave, maybe to space or something, which, which the current phone design, if there's a UFO, you ever seen a picture of a UFO? It's like a round dish. If a UFO happened to fly between you and your phone call, it could disrupt it. With one of these phones, you could not have that occur unless that spaceship actually flew into a wire. So on that account, the old phone it was a little more reliable if we get visited by aliens or UFOs. Other than that, this thing was terribly impractical. You would hear this ring, you'd be outside, and you'd go, oh, I think that's my phone ringing. Now mind you, there was no like select a ringtone. All these phones sound the same. So you hear a phone ring and you go, Huh, is that my phone or my neighbor's phone? I don't know, but I'm going to run at my house like a crazy person anyhow. No answering machine. Go pick up my gas pump phone and say hello. And maybe there's nobody even there. Now, I know I skipped ahead there to demonstrate how this works. But this is where the sound comes out. This is where sound goes in. Talking that phone like that. Kind of like you watch an old movie, uh, or like Batman or something like that. You feel like Batman. Ring, ring. Hello. It's Batman. It's not Batman. It's Willie Bill. But you get the idea. So when you're dialing a phone, this old phone, the new one, you just you just speak at it. You say, "Hey Siri, I want to call my wife," and and then Siri calls your wife. I don't really need a third person in my relationship. I have me and I have my wife. And, and now there's this third party, the Siri. I don't know Siri. 
never met Siri. I don't know if I approve of Siri participating in my relationship. I might. It might be cool. But being that I never met him or her, I'm not even sure. I'm not completely on board with involving that third party. Maybe let's have an introduction first before I start asking you to participate. You make a phone call, a phone like this, just you and the person you're calling. You dial numbers by swinging this thing around. And it would make all this racket, and you'd wait a long time. And then if you, if you screwed up the number, you got to hang up, start all over again. It was a real pain in the butt. But that's the way phones used to work. So, this phone in particular, just about the same as the phone that was in everybody else's house. So, as far as review, it's the same. Uh, and what we have now is completely different. So, uh, thanks for joining me on a little trip down memory lane. Enjoy your brain cancer inducing portable pocket computer talking to space. Easy to be interrupted by a UFO phone. Uh, if you want to explore something like this, I really have no idea where to find it or how to hook it up anymore. But it was fun while it lasted. That's all I got for you. Have a good one. Hit all the buttons. Let me know what you want me to review next. Take care, y'all. This is Batman. It's not Batman.